Peace forever and always. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. And welcome again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. And of course, I am <laughs> uh, I am the Angel Snuffin' of Seven. Your brother and hopefully your friend Talik Even Ra. I just want to speak with us for a few minutes. Just like if we were sitting one on one. That's sort of impossible, but we're going to try to do that within the confines of this medium. I was just thinking, which I generally do a lot. I want to make a comment on those black people. I prefer to say dark Europeans. And a dark European is a black person. They look like you and me. They look like us, but they have and they carry the mentality of the racist Caucasian people. So it's easy for them to blend in. And the only reason why they call themselves black is because the white man, the racist Caucasian people have accepted black. If the Caucasian people still call us colors or Negroes or coons or whatever, they would call themselves those things. So you can't trip off a dark European. They flow wherever, whoever, the power, those in power, whatever they say, that's how they flow. So we really can't trip off a dark European. So I have dark Europeans here on YouTube that claim, quote unquote, that they love black people. And they believe they are helping black people by making negative videos. They don't make anything positive. They don't never tell you black man and woman that they love us. The only thing they talk about is how terrible we are. You're not going to find it here because I know we as a people are not terrible. Black people would give you their last dime. I know it because I done took it. <laughs> I was a black Muslim on the street and Christian people would give me their, their I'm not going to say it's their last dollar, but you know, they could tell they didn't really want to give it to, but they got good hearts. They seen a young black man trying to do positive things and they go in their pocket and give you a dollar. So I know how good our people are. We are wonderful, generous, loving. That's why whites have gotten away with what they gotten away with for all these years because it's not in our hearts to be ruthless and evil. We're more evil and ruthless with ourselves than with those outside of ourselves. That's another story. I wonder how these people who bash, here you are black, just like me, but you want to bash our people. I wonder how you raise your children. Because you said talking negative all the time about us is a good thing. We don't need to talk about the positive thing. We need to talk about just the, the negative things that black people are. So you have a child that you're raising. And all that you do is pick at that child's flaws, right? That's what you do, because that's what you do to black people. You, you, you find all our flaws, and then you make these videos, and then all those who hate us, all those who despise us, watch your video and laugh at your silly Negro ass. And I guess you do that to your children. Then that child turns to hate you, because... Yes, we all have flaws. Yes, we all do wrong. But nobody want to hear 
about those things. Even your dumb ass don't want to hear about it. You want to get all upset when somebody show you your flaw. Show where you mess up. You don't like it, but you want to do that to us as a people. You sound foolish. Yes, I can go to a child and tell that baby this and that. They already know what they do wrong. What we need is somebody to inspire us, to help us see ourselves as better, not continue to take the flaw and push us down, take us, find our good and help up, uplift us off the ground. That's what we need. We already know about the bad things that we do. The media shows us carjacking. The media shows us murdering each other. We know about all these things. We know about our dropout rate. We know about single mothers. We know about all the things we are never allowed to forget. But we're never told how beautiful we are. Tell the child, even though the child is flunking out of school, tell that child, I see something better in you. I know you can do better. Instead of talking about you, I'm going to grab you by your arm and uplift you off the ground when you're falling. And when I get weak, grab me, help me up. It's about helping the other person up. We already know about our faults. If a young man not paying his child support, he's not being a good father, to talk about what he's not doing, this makes the situation worse. Encourage and help and give an upliftment to the spirit. Show him the reasons why that it's so good to be a good father. And encourage that. A prostitute don't want to hear about how she's prostituted. Because there's nothing good in it. She's doing it. But that don't mean she's proud of selling her body. But people do things in order to survive. So if you got a problem with her being a prostitute, then show her another way. Give her an opportunity. But see, y'all talk all that, but you don't have no opportunity to give nobody. Because you're waiting on the white man to give that opportunity. And all you're doing is running your mouth and talk about what somebody should and should not be doing. Don't be doing no drugs. Why do people do drugs? People do drugs because there's something in their life that's not there. So the drug gives them the high. It gives them the good feeling that they can't find in real life. So they go to the drug or they go to food or they go to liquor in order to find that happiness that they lack in their life. You see, Brother Talib don't need no liquor. He don't need excessive sex. He don't need all these things because I get high talking with y'all. That's where I get my high from. I'm as high as a kite right now. Woo! <laughs> that's, hey, that's why y'all can't do nothing with me. I love this kind of stuff. And we need this kind of stuff. And I'm glad to provide. I'm glad to entertain you a little bit for 10 minutes. But it's entertainment to help uplift our spirit. I'm not going to go around making videos about how black women is nasty and how black men are trifling and this and that. Because I love you. Now there's a little, there's something called tough love. We got to get a rough, we got to get a little rough. Nah, man. Come on. So we can, so we can just describe a situation. We give love to everybody, but we don't give none to ourselves. But here on the Reality's Temple, this is where I love black people. Why don't you love everybody? Love everybody. If black people, if I, 
don't love myself, how can I love anybody else? Love begins with self-love. So I love to love my personal self first, then love me as a people, black people, because that's where I come from. And once black people learn to love themselves, then we can spread our love to others. That's where it comes from. We must respect and love self first. And here, you're going to get the positive just as well as the negative, but it's all in good spirits. It's all in love. I love us. You don't hear loving us from others, but you're going to get love here. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. This was and is. Till next time, the Reality Temple on Earth.